an Ubuntu-based rolling release distribution. Doesn't that sound interesting? Well, Rhino Linux is certainly something that has our attention. This is Ankush from its first, and here we take a look at Rhino Linux, which aims to be a rolling release Ubuntu-based distro with XFCE desktop and an AUR-inspired package manager for Ubuntu, that is Paxtel. If you didn't know, Rhino Linux will be the successor of Rolling Rhino Linux. The project was never aimed to replace other stable distributions and was purely a passion project made for fun. Considering people started using it as a daily driver and expected more from it, the developer decided to turn this into a serious project. At the time of recording this, Rhino Linux was in its open beta stage and close to a stable release. The distribution uses a modified version of XFC 4.18 alongside Paxtel at its core for a hassle-free user experience. They ship with sane defaults, making the traditional desktop beautiful. Just because of the desktop, you can consider it as an alternative to Zubuntu once it has its stable release available. Not to forget, with XFC as the desktop, it is lightweight, fast, and customizable, as all Rhino Linux related packages are packaged as PackScript. Any OS updates can be done through Packstall. The inclusion of XFC 4.18 also enables Rhino Linux to take advantage of various improvements on offer, such as the improvements to Thuna, File Manager, Enhanced Desktop Panel, and more. So, how does the distro feel and behave? Well, when you first boot up into Rhino Linux, you are greeted with a very clean and modern looking quick setup wizard built using Rust. When you proceed, you are given the option to choose from three distinct package managers, Flatback, Snap, and App Image. The support of all this is possible because of their custom package management wrapper, Rhino PKG, which allows you to search, install, remove, and update packages from the various supported repositories. It also lets you select which package manager you wish to install it on. In contrast to the latest official Ubuntu flavors, you actually have the freedom to have Flatpak enabled out of the box. So that's nice. You can also opt for Flatpak apps if you need them. Then there are the extra settings that you can opt to enable. One is to enable the wonderful Python based frontend for apt package management, Nala. It is apt in Ubuntu, but better. Originally inspired by the DNF package manager, it gives you a nice user experience when installing packages via the terminal. The other is Apport, which is a crash reporting system that lets the developers know of any issues with your installation in the event of a system crash. When you are done with that, you get to see a very familiar desktop layout with a neat wallpaper and system widgets at the bottom taskbar. The overall user experience seems relatively straightforward and the Rhino themed wallpaper looks lovely. So what do you think of this new upcoming and probably a unique take on Ubuntu based distribution as a rolling release? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below.